this start is everything. Oh, nerves are up as the revs rise, and we are underway. Racing here at Austin now for the men's Enduro X final into the first quarter. Lasuziak gets pushed out. Brown gets up on the inside. He goes through. Chris Hollis gets pushed to the outside, but Brown has barged his way through. Look at Cody Webb up on the inside in third nice. place. Nice. Now what happened? Brown got a nice start. First place yet why Taddy's gonna want to give him back right away. And that level picking. And wow. he makes the jump. He makes, makes the, the jump. Third. Wow. Anyway, these guys, nice start from the both of them. Mike, look like Mike tried to push him a little wide to give him a little uh, trouble there. But Brown, wow. look at that. Brown goes on the inside. He retakes the lead. We've had a couple of lead changes already. Brown spins up that rear tire. The Husqvarna and the KTM battling one way, then the other. It's and they're still, and Brown's in real trouble. The world. Brown is in trouble. He's had to take the exit. And that means that Blatsutiak leads ahead of Cody Webb here. What a turn up for the books on the wow. first lap. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oh, in third position, we're going to have to look back and see Alfredo Gomez, the Spaniards, on the 89. Here is Brown. He's in fifth position by my reckoning, Jeremy. He can still do it. It's a long race. Long, long race. There's, there's a lot of guys with a lot of laps here. As we can see, anything can happen on this course. So even Teddy, he's made his mistakes earlier in the day. So he's got he's to be patient as well. But we've seen him make some big jumps rather than two small ones. Is he risking it? rather than playing it safe. You have to say the former at this point in a 10 lap race. Look at this, look at this. Having a hard time. Lassuziak gets Cody out. Webb losing some spots. And if we come back, who, who's got a change of second position? I don't think Webb's in second position anymore. Looks like, looks like it could be Gomez. Oh, it's Haker. Wow. wow. Haker goes from third to second position. Gomez down to third position now. And Mike Brown still in fifth, but getting closer to that fourth. He was in trouble there. Yeah. We were looking at the same thing as well. It's a bad Mike Brown was making a big mistake there, but Haker in second place doing a nice job. One lap ago, we saw Haker down in the rock section, so recovering nicely. Now what he wants to do is set his sights on that man right there, the number 111. Addy Blazusiak currently running in the first position. Getting through the rocks nicely there. But here's oh. the section here. Just as I said, here's the section that could get him, and he's had trouble all day there. Well, the 250 KTM powers its way out. Still Colton Haker in that second position. The 44-year-old from California. He had a silver medal in Barcelona last year. He's in silver medal position at the moment. But look at that gap. It's, it's that camera shot. Seems to be increasing a little bit. Gomez on the number 89. The Spaniard, he had a brilliant uh, medal in Munich last year. His sister had a brilliant medal in their hometown, or their, their home country of Spain last year. And I saw them leaving the Olympic Stadium in Barcelona last year with uh, his sister having got a medal, and they put it on the smallest trailer behind the, the, a real battered-out car that was still celebrating. We've come from a small little village in near...